Hey guys, welcome back to another Counter-Strike video. Today, we're going to look at something very different. I'm going to bring to light the every skill haste. We'll be talking about what it is, just in case you're new to the game or a casual player. If you find this video useful, do share it with anyone who you think might help them as well. Leave a like and comment or any question you may have. I'll also lay everything out including the formula and the application of the substat. If you wish to know only the final formula where you just put in two figures and get the final cooldown, after applying skill haste, you can just skip to that part. Timestamps are available on the video bar and in the description below. Without further ado, let's get to it! So what exactly is skill haste? Skill Haze is a substat that can be obtained through the cooldown reduction or CDR sets, and it's available for Countess, Soldiers, and Mech. For all Tier 5 gears and below, only the armor and accessory pieces can roll into Skill Haze. You'll need your weapon to be Tier 6 for it to have a chance to roll into the substat. Once you put together 4 pieces of CDR gear, you'll gain a 30% Skill Haze by default. You can check your total skill haze in the details section of your employee's info page. Now a quick note before moving on, be aware that there's a diminishing return for skill haste, meaning after a certain point, each percentage of skill haste will only reduce the final cooldown at a lesser rate. Or in other words, it's really not worth it to go past 100% skill haste, if you ever manage to pull that off. To not bore you with the logic behind the calculations, I've decided to speak in human language so we all can understand easier. We will use Kyle's ultimate to show you how to use this formula. Let's say Kyle has 50% skill haste. How long would his ultimate take to go off cooldown from 45 seconds? This is the formula to find out just how many seconds is reduced after applying skill haste. You can either pause the video to write this down, take a screenshot, or just revisit this video anytime. So let's put those numbers in. And we'll end up with something like this. So right here, you put in the amount of skill haste that you have on your character, which in our case, 50%, we will just put 50 here. And here we put the original cooldown time. So for Kyle's ultimate, it's 45 seconds. We'll put 45 seconds here. After proceeding with the calculation, we'll end up with 15 seconds of cooldown. Now to know the final cooldown after 50% skill haste, all you need to do is take the original cooldown time, which in this case is 45 seconds. We reduce that by 15 seconds. In the end, we'll end up with 30 seconds. So a quick disclaimer as well, the results you get may be 2 to 3 seconds different from reality as we have rounded out some numbers during the process of the formula for easier understanding and application. It should be good enough to be used as a general reference. And that's how you calculate your skill haste folks. Hope this video made it easy for you to find out just how many seconds did your skill haste reduce from your employees. I'd like to thank Matt Lee Moe for helping me break down and finally came up with this simplified formula. He does some absolutely hilarious videos, so please do drop by his channel to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Just tell me what you want to see in my next video. Until the next one, thank you for watching. Bye.